like the road that you travel on. There's one day here and the next day gone. Sometimes you bend, sometimes you stand, sometimes you turn your back to the wind. There's a world outside every darkened door. The blues won't want you anymore. But the brave are free and love for a sword. Come hide the me to the distant shore. Don't grieve for me, for now I'm free. I'm following the path God laid for me. I took his hand when I heard him call. I turned my back and left it all. I could not stay another day. To laugh, to love, to work, or to play. Tasks left undone must stay that way. I found that peace at the close of day. If my parting has left a void, then fill it with remembered joy. A friendship shared, a laugh, a kiss, ah yes, these things I too will miss. Be not burdened with times of sorrow. I wish for you the sunshine of tomorrow. My life's been full, I've savored much, good friends, good times, my loved ones touch. If my time seemed all too brief, don't lengthen it now with undue grief. Lift up your heart, rejoice with me, God wanted me now, he set me free. Please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thanks guys, I'm Emma Mowry. And I'm Addie Ford. Welcome back to our winter sports coverage for the year of 2023. This is an exciting time for our sports department as we now have many RE athletes in season. In action are our boys and girls basketball teams and our wrestlers. That's right Emma, and our swim and dive teams are also practicing in the pool for their season that starts off in just two weeks. Let's get started right away sharing what's been happening on the courts. Sounds great. Last Thursday, our boys and girls basketball teams kicked off their season for 2023 with games against Jackson Creek Middle School. The boys traveled to Bloomington where they were defeated by the Jaguars. Coach Bean reported that the seventh graders experienced a rough first half, which cost the Arties the game. Despite the game loss, Coach Spina said that these seventh graders kept their heads up and clawed their way back, actually winning the second half by two points. Way to hang in there and fight back seventh graders. Scoring were Lucas Tolliday with 17 points, A. Wolf with three, and Dane Payne and Harry Wolf with two points each. As for our eighth grade team, they were defeated by Jackson Creek Jaguars with a score of 60 to 37. Leading scorers for this rough game were Riley Butler and Landon Casey with 10 points and Caden Longston with seven points. Our girls basketball teams opened their seasons at home against Jackson Creek last Thursday. Our 7th grade team fell to the Jaguars, however, our 8th grade Lady Artie successfully walked away with the win. That's right, our 8th grade team won with a score of 19-14. to 14. Way to go Lady Arties in getting that season opening win. With 5 more competitions to report on, including our John Arwin Wrestlers opener, we will send it down to our very own John Arwin Gymnasium where Abe and Dane are ready to share footage and results of our Monday night's game against Franklin Community. Over to you guys. Thanks Emma and Addie. I'm Abe Wolf. And I'm Dane Payton. On Monday night our A and B 7th grade boys basketball teams took on Franklin Community Middle School. Our 7th grade basketball team hosted the Grizzly Cubs here at Woodham where both teams met defeat in super close games. A team lost to Franklin 34 to 32. Coach Spiner reported a solid first three quarters played by the Arties, but a big fourth quarter made them lose the game. Scoring for the Arties were Lucas Tolliday with 10 points, Dave Payton with nine points. Good job, Dave. Henry Wolf added seven points, and Lincoln Hobius, Owen Long, and Abe Wolf chipped in two each. Good job, Babe. And as for our already 7th grade B team, played really well and battled the entire game, but fell just short, 40 to 37. Scoring for our Arties were Tyler Darling with 7 points, Landon Mills and Laban Cross each added 6, 
Jordan Biggs had five points, Brandon Silcox and Parker Hayes added four, Aiden Long and Carson Waller put in two apiece, and Logan Whaley chipped in one point. On Monday night, their eighth grade boys basketball teams traveled to Franklin. But our A team lost to the Grizzly Cubs. They did. However, our eighth grade B team defeated the Grizzly, getting a big win for their record book. Now let's throw it over to Addie and Laban, who will bring us coverage of Tuesday's night's girls basketball game against Monrovia. Thanks to Dana Name, I'm Addie Corrales. And I'm Lynn McCross. On Tuesday night, the Lady Yardy 7th and 8th grade basketball teams traveled to Monrovia for their second game of the season. The 7th graders lost a hard game last night with a score of 36-21. to The leading scorers for the game were Braxton Connor, 7 points, Jersey Huff with 6, Bree Hayden with 4, and Haley St Stevenson with 2. Great job, Lady Yardies. Now let's talk about our 8th grade team. Oh my, talk about hard work paying off. This team who won the one game last year and they have now kicked off their season with two wins, having a record of two and zero. These Lady Yardies defeated the Bulldogs 35 to 34 in an exciting game. Laban, you are so right. As a member of the team, I can say that we are truly playing like a team, which is something we never accomplished last year. Congratulations, Maddie. Great job. Keep up the good work. That's all we have to report on Tuesday night. Now, Destin and Cash will bring you the report of Wednesday's opening night for our best wish. Over to you guys. Thanks, Eddie and Laban. I'm Destin Miller. And I'm Cash Gardner. On Wednesday night, our wrestling team opened up their season hosting Owen Valley Middle School right here at Wooden. Guys, I'm going to take a moment to explain what wrestling is a sport, and D, scoring as a team. However, within the team score are individual matches in which wrestlers earn points for the team when they pin or outscore their opponent. Oh, I get it. So even though as a team our arty wrestlers were defeated by Owen Valley by a score of 57 to 36, there were individual wrestlers who won their matches. Exactly. In fact, Wednesday several of our wooden wrestlers won their matches. So wait a minute, doesn't it? sounds like our arty team actually won the meet. Well, the reason we didn't win is because we don't have wrestlers in each weight class. Therefore, when the other team has a wrestler in the weight class in which we don't, they win by default or forfeit, as we say in wrestling. Gotcha. So individuals who won their matches were Dalen Lane, who earned a pin at a 100-pound spot, Dustin Miller, who got a pin at 113 pounds. Good job, Dustin. Thanks. Blake Roth, who also got a 113-pound pin. At 120 pounds, Tate Frederick pinned his opponent. Ezra Osler earned a pin at 126 pounds, and Alex Sheriff earned a pin in the heavyweight division. In addition, Keegan Weaver of the 90 pound weight division won his match with a score of 20 to 12. Coach Hunter gave a shout out to Dalen Lane for trying a special move that worked out well and caused him to win a, with a quick pin. In addition, Coach Hunter reported that Tate Frederick wrestled really well, showing the skill level of a high school wrestler. He really did, Cash. Our Artie's wrestler did a great job. That's awesome. Great job, guys. Guys, next week, I'll bring you coverage of last night's 7th and 8th grade boys basketball game against Columbus. Now let's throw it over to Aubrey and Keeley, who will share next week's Artesian Sports Schedule. Thanks, and Cash. I'm Kim Macomb. And I'm Aubrey Lawson. We're going to fill you in on what's coming up next week for our Artesian athletes. Tomorrow, our 8th grade boys will compete in the Morgan County Tournament right here at Wooden. On Tuesday, our girls basketball team will host Paul Hadley at home, and our junior mid-state competition will kick off for our 7th and 8th grade boys basketball at Greenwood. Wednesday, our wrestlers will kick off their season away against Greenwood Middle School. Thursday, our wrestlers will host Plainfield at home. Wow! Our Artesians have a very busy schedule next week. They really do. Guys, that's it for this week's sports schedule. Be sure to get out there and cheer on our Artesians as they compete to represent us. That's right. That's all we have for this week's Wooden Sports coverage. Before we sign off, we want to leave you with some words of inspiration. Guys, remember your goals should be out of reach but never out of sight. Ooh, I like that quote, Aubrey. That's a wrap for this week's sports coverage. Let's now take a moment to recognize and celebrate our Wooden family birthdays. Sounds great. Until next week, go Arties!
Happy birthday, everyone. I'm Lily Adams. And I'm Tessa Crumley. Welcome to our very first three-day weather forecast for this school year. Over the next few days, we're going to have some major temperature changes ranging from 24 degrees all the way up to nearly 50 degrees. That's in the end of the weather for you. But at least we're starting to see longer daylight hours. Very true, Tessa. Guys, it is a fact that this time of year we are getting nearly a minute of daylight each and every day. That is awesome, Lily. Yep, it is. Now that Christmas is over, I'm ready for some springtime weather. Same here. Let's get started with our weekend weather forecast. Sounds great. For today, I am predicting mainly cloudy skies. Our high should reach around 35 degrees and our low will be 24 degrees. The sun should set for the day at around 5.44 p.m. Around midnight tonight, the clouds will clear, giving a bit of us mainly sunny skies on Saturday with just a few clouds. So look forward to a pretty day outside of tomorrow. Our high should reach around 39 degrees. Clouds will return late evening Saturday, dropping the tints back down below freezing to around 27 degrees. The sun should set around 5.45 p.m. Sunday, we will wake up to a considerably warm temps, but mostly cloudy skies. Highs for the day will reach around 48 degrees, and we should say above freezing the entire day, with the lows only dropping to around 39 degrees. On Sunday, the sun should set at 5.46 p.m. Next week, we are predicting a pretty rainy week with showers and scattered thunderstorms throughout the week. But the good news is, the temperatures should be hovering around the 50s for the entire week. Everyone, get your umbrellas out. That's a wrap for this week's Fast Forward Forecast. Have a great weekend, everyone! While I'm definitely looking forward to the rain next week, those 50 degree days also sound amazing. They sure do, kids. Good morning, everyone. I'm Nevaeh Dillon. And I'm Mackenzie Johnson. And I'm Kaden Sinsley. And you're watching News from the Office. We would like to start this portion of Fast Forward Out with a little promo commercial from some of our members of our yearbook publication staff. That's right. It's that time of year and we need to order our yearbooks. Pay attention as this group instructs us on how to get our orders in. Watch now. Hi guys, we are here from the John R. Wooden Yearbook staff. Yep, we make the yearbook. Did you guys know that the 2022 to 2023 yearbooks are already on sale? Not only are they already on sale, but the deadline is coming up to get your orders in. Wait a minute, are you serious? How do we order? Good question, AJ. You simply need to go to yearbookordercenter.com and the screen will pop up for you to input a code. Our school code is 503. Type that in and order your yearbook. The price for 2022-2023 yearbook is only $34. I don't need no stinking yearbook. Are you kidding me? You're seriously willing to give up your record of your memories you made in middle school? Hey, hello everyone. Uh, someone asked me why you should buy a yearbook, and there's so many reasons. I've got a collection of yearbooks this long, and I've gone back and looked at uh, students that I've had over the years that have all grown up now, uh, my co-workers that change over the years, um, and it's just such a delight to be able to look back uh, so if you buy your yearbook now and you keep it, you'll keep it forever. You'll keep it until like you're my age. And when you look back, you'll just have so many great memories. So it's really a great investment. For just a few bucks, you have eternal memories. So get a yearbook. Guys, this year has been fantastic. I'm most definitely getting a yearbook, and I think you should too. I don't want to forget any of you or our memories together. Go order your yearbook now for a great year of memories. Guys, you're almost out of time to order yearbooks. Get your year orders in by April 15th. You won't be sorry. Buy, Buy your yearbooks year now. Buy it now. Buy it now. Buy it now. Have you guys ordered your yearbooks yet? I have not, Mackenzie, but I absolutely will before April 15th. Me too. Thanks, Jewel, Madison, AJ, and Parker for those instructions. Guys, next week starts our body safety classes. On Tuesday, 7th graders will be called to the cafeteria, and then on Thursday, 8th graders will go through the program. That's right. Students with the last name starting with A through L will start the program at 7.50 a.m. 
And then at 9.50 a.m., students with the last name, starting with M to Z, will be to the cafeteria. Guys, I have a question. Sure, what's up, Mackenzie? What exactly is body safety? Good question, Mackenzie. Honestly, I bet other students are wondering the exact same thing. Body safety education aims to empower students with the skills and knowledge that will lessen the likelihood of them becoming victims of abuse. That's right, and body safety programs are completely age-appropriate, non-threatening, and aim to teach students the basics of what is and isn't safe. So there's nothing embarrassing about these classes? Absolutely not, McKenzie. These classes are simply to empower us with our own lives and make sure that we are safe, respected, and able to be confident in our various situations. Gotcha. Thanks so much for explaining this to me. I'm actually excited for next week. At this time, we would like to switch our focus to the music department. That's right. We would like to throw a huge congratulations shout out to 8th grade Sailor Collins for making it to Indiana's Junior All-State Orchestra. Sailor is ranked ninth in the state and is currently in attendance at the Indiana Music Educators State Convention in Fort Wayne. That's right. Sailor left yesterday to rehearse and perform along the best ranked middle school orchestra in Indiana. Guys, Sailor is the very first Martinsville and John R. Wooden orchestra performer to ever make it to this level of achievement. We are all extremely proud of her. Absolutely. You get the chance to congratulate her when she gets back or send her an email wishing her good luck today and tomorrow. Guys, brace yourselves. Did you realize we have a three day weekend coming up? What? Are you serious? Absolutely, Cadence. Monday is Martin Luther King Day and we do not have school. This is awesome news. I know, right? A three day weekend. Guys, in honor of Martin Luther King Day on Monday, we have prepared a short movie video. For Martin Luther King demonstrated new and non-violent ways to stand up for the civil rights movement in America in the 1960s. Guys, have a safe and amazing three day weekend. Absolutely. Watch now as we show how Martin Luther King Jr.'s bold movement helped change the course of history. Bye! Bye. I have a dream that one day this nation will rise up, live out the true meaning of its creed. We hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal. Yeah, isn't it amazing how a man can find himself alone? My poor little children will one day live in a nation where they will not be judged by the color of their skin, but by the content of their character. And he climbs on up the hill on the rock on which he stands. He looks back at the crowd. He looks down at his hands and he says, I have a dream. I am a difference maker. I have a dream. I am a difference maker.